Hello everybody, this is John Evans and you're watching the wildly successful internet program Mid Mod Money. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. We have an amazing thrift store haul to show you. Just want to remind everyone to like and subscribe, like the video, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe because the first uh, Monday of every month we give away a vintage item. And the like button, you got to hit that because that triggers the algorithm that makes me a YouTube celebrity. So without that, where are we? What are we doing? So let's get to today's haul. It's a good haul from Maryland, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and it even includes a flea market. So it's the first hint of flea market season uh, creeping into today's episode. So the first thing I found at Christian Crossing, maybe you've heard me say that before. Christian Crossing, great thrift store here in Oakland, Maryland. I found this for one dollar and fifty cents this giant heavy uh you know and i'm no archaeologist an olmec indian head i believe olmec uh did i say that right it looks like the thing that mr burns gave the simpsons honestly that stayed in their basement for eight years so this is heavy a lot of wear on the bottom looks like it could have been a bookend this this seems like 60s 70s uh mexico tourist trade kind of stuff um and uh it's it's value lies in the fact that it looks really cool and it's heavy and it's old so uh it's a buck 50 i'm gonna sell it for 15 dollars. i do very well with carved head stuff and uh and this is a really unique looking one great color uh, so i'm looking at about 14 bucks profit next thing i found was interesting this was um i found this at the goodwill here in oakland maryland uh obviously a candlestick holder but i bought it thinking it was old because it uh, looked old and um you know when i got to comparing it to other things when i got home i realized that it says on the on this it says black and blum which is uh, i think an english company uh, so this might not be as old as I thought it was. It could be 80s or 90s even. Uh, but the aesthetic, the design, this is called a loop candle holder. This is worth uh, probably 22, 23, 24. Do I have 25? No, this is, uh, yeah, it's like a 22 to $25 candlestick holder. I paid two bucks for it at Goodwill here in Oakland. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stick it in my booth uh, because it does fit the aesthetic. It looks vintage, it kind of fits in. I, I can't advertise it as such. I will say uh, modern or, you know, something like that. Uh, retro looking candlestick holder. Okay, this next thing I found, um, one of my uh, subscribers, who was it? Silas Malone said, more clothing, do more clothing. I don't often cater the show to one person, but I recently found two items of clothing that are worth mentioning, and I'm going to get into that. The first one I found, look you guys, it's lady clothes. This is a house dress. It's got uh, pockets, it's got pearl snaps orange pearl snaps it's got a fantastic pattern but this is a ladies house dress in i think mint condition there's a tag that says i believe it's from a department store it says pinehurst nine dollars so in the 60s you would have bought this ladies house dress which you know i found out that a house dress is you know lady would wear it around the house you do uh things around the house and then it was nice enough to go out in you know you would uh you know you could go run an errand or two uh so this is uh very cool late 60s and i paid 5.99 for it i'm not that well versed on vintage women's clothes at this time i'm hoping to get 20 to 25 dollars for this uh i think it probably fits in there if someone falls in love with it on ebay that's where it's gonna be on sale Next piece of clothing I found was this awesome disco shirt. Look at this. Lady playing the guitar, rainbows, all kinds of weird stuff. I got this at the Pittsburgh Flea Market. Rossi's Indoor Outdoor Flea Market. I paid two American dollars. 
for this crazy looking 70s polyester shirt. Hoping to get $20 for that as well. So high profit, maybe, uh, you know, $40 in profit off two lady items. Uh, people who deal in clothing, tell me if I'm dreaming. Um, all right, the next thing I found at the flea market, the only other thing I bought at the flea market was this. Yeah, you're like, what is that? Well, if you ask me, it's a planter right put some uh dirt in there throw a couple of uh, flowers into it but it was four dollars and i bought it because it's just stunning it's just i think it was supposed to be pink right and someone took the liberty of going red red and i don't hate it i think it's i think it's like truly spectacular in its own way it's very odd so i didn't even question four dollars i paid the four dollars i read on the bottom adela m smith 1963 credit where credit is due adela smith you crushed it sometimes you see people's art and it's not good this was probably blank and someone painted this 1963 that's bananas so uh, i think it's probably worth 20 bucks because of its spectacularness it is odd you don't see a lot of red flamingos i believe that to be a flamingo so i'm looking at 16 18 dollars profit on the red flamingo all right uh next thing i found at highland thrift store it's been very good to me over the years i found this anybody know what this is a mirror yes it is a mirror but it is a special mirror uh and it says right here Termotex. i went down a rabbit hole and yeah i believe that's the finland flag right there so it's from finland Termotex mirrors the big ones uh, are a really high dollar item i don't know if that refers to the mirror because this one's super magnified um and it's weird because it looks like this if it's sitting like this you can have it like this, and it looks like this. So it's unusual. It's uh, late 60s, early 70s, and it's from Finland. So it's got some things going for it, and it was $1.50. Here's what it doesn't have. This is the mirror is kind of foggy on that side, perfect on this side. So I'm dealing with something that's, you know, it's not 100%. Like if I could figure out why this has got this fog on it, but it looks good like this, you know, it looks good like this. Uh, I paid a dollar fifty for it. The being that the larger ones go for a lot of money, I'm thinking this one's probably in the twenty to thirty dollar range. I'm gonna put this on eBay because space age, mid century modern, that's what you know, if you label it as such, people will find it. And someone who knows more about Termotex than I do will probably scoop this up and maybe get into a bidding war. Who knows? That's what eBay is for. All right, next thing I found, and we seem to have a lot of art here. We do art very well here, I think. I found this in West Virginia at Animal Friends Thrift Store. Animal Friends, I believe it's some kind of, uh, I believe it's some kind of charity. I think the money goes to the animals. This was eight dollars. It says as is because someone drilled holes here and here so i mean this could have been this looks like it's the kind of art that could have been in a uh, defunct seafood restaurant but this is a uh, pretty prototypical factory art i believe and uh it's probably worth between 30 and 35 bucks i figured eight not bad i'm not going to make a killing off this but uh, 35 off of eight still doable and it does sell because i've sold it before especially the reasonable ones all right mm -hmm. we're down to our last item and i was thrilled when i saw this uh at the goodwill here in oakland maryland i stumbled upon a well let's just let's just get it out look at this stunning mid-century modern Trojan horse head, really heavy, really, really heavy. 
and it is from the 1960s when i saw it there's no label nothing to go by but i knew that from seeing stuff like this this kind of stylized horse head with the trojan that seems 60s to me and then when i started researching it uh i found out that this is harris pottery Her there was a one on ebay that said, had a big or black label that said harris pottery chicago illinois um and that is from the 1960s so the person on ebay was asking 99 and it was the only listing of this exact piece so i paid five american dollars for this beautiful trojan horse head five bucks and uh i'm gonna try to get at least 80 dollars for it i'm gonna put it in my booth probably at 79 I don't think I'll put it on eBay. Um, I don't, it's super heavy. I don't want to ship it, but um, five bucks to 80. I, I mean, I think that's a, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good way to go. You don't have to get too greedy on it and uh, shoot, you know, thrilled to see that. So let's look at everything. I paid 30 bucks for $30 total for everything. And when it's uh, all said and done through my, avenues of selling things my booths at the antique mall facebook marketplace i'm looking at 247 dollars off of 30 bucks pretty good for a little bit of work and you can do it too uh it's quite easy i would follow my system the mid mod money system remember to like and subscribe to these videos that's going to help and another thing is to always round up